Professor Clements with you as we consider um, scale of the solar system and the astronomical unit and the unit used for stars, the light year distance. Uh, our solar system here shown in August 2014, again uh, the NASA solar system simulator website can be used to produce this type of picture. Uh, just do a Google search for solar system simulator. The distance from the Sun to the Earth, this average distance, because the Earth's orbit is not a perfect circle, uh, but this average distance is called the astronomical unit. It's just a convenient ruler to use as we discuss the distances to objects in the solar system. The Earth is one astronomical unit away from the Sun. We now know the number of kilometers in the astronomical unit. Um, this was determined in the 1700s from observing uh, transits of Venus, Venus passing across the disk of the Sun, and using some uh, angles and calculations that we're not going to go into. Astronomers gave us the first good estimate of the uh, astronomical unit. There was an observing of transits in the 1600s, but they were cruder and did not produce a, a, a really accurate value for the astronomical unit. But the astronomical unit, 1.5 times 10 to the 11th meters. 1.5 times 10 to the 11th meters. If I change that to billions of meters, it would be 150 billion meters, though a meter stick is about a yard. Um, 150 billion meter sticks from end to end would fit between the Sun and the Earth. It is a tremendous distance. Um, in terms of some scales, we'll, we'll do that later, but uh, we're a great distance away from the sun, but we're at a good distance. The uh, temperature is not too hot that our water boils away. The temperature is not too cold such that our water freezes. Uh, one astronomical unit. And we'll go to uh, some other objects here in uh, terms of the outer solar system. Uh, Jupiter is about five astronomical units away from the Sun, though five times farther than the Earth. Saturn's about nine astronomical units away from the Sun. And Pluto, I think the average is about 40 astronomical units away from the Sun. On average, 40 times farther than the Earth from the Sun. So the astronomical unit is a ruler, convenient ruler in the solar system, and there is one astronomical unit between, uh, that's the distance between the Sun and the Earth. Uh, so some scales here, if we take an object that's a little bit larger than a tennis ball, um, on this scale, if the Sun is this size, the Earth would be 27 feet away. Uh, that would be the one astronomical unit. And Pluto would be three city blocks, the United States, away. When we start to get to the stars, the astronomical unit is no longer convenient as a ruler. Uh, this closest star to the Sun, 262,000 roughly astronomical units away from uh, the Sun. So we get to these big numbers. We don't like big numbers. Um, so let's pick a bigger ruler. And that bigger ruler is the light year. Uh, the light year is the distance light travels in one year. So it's called a light year. It is not a unit of time, it's a unit of distance. It's the distance light travels in one year. And just to get a scale of this distance, um, our one astronomical unit, when we get sunlight on the Earth, that light left the Sun 8.5 minutes previously. Light does not travel infinitely fast, but it is very fast compared to motions of cars or planes. Uh, Light takes 8.5 minutes to travel this one astronomical unit. With this ruler, then our nearest star is four light years away. So this particular star is in the southern hemisphere. We don't see it uh, from Nebraska. But uh, this star, uh, the light that reaches the Earth tonight, it left that star for about four years ago. And the distance is four light years to that star. So this is a convenient distance for uh, the spacing of stars in our galaxy. When we start to talk about the distances to other galaxies, it becomes not quite so convenient. 
because we have to talk about millions of light years between uh, galaxies. Uh, the Milky Way galaxy itself, a collection of perhaps 200 billion stars. We won't talk about galaxies in this course in particular, but just to uh, give us a little frame of reference on where we're uh, living, um, at least for the Physics 121 course, we'll not talk about galaxies. But it's 100,000 light years in diameter, and our sun is about 26,000 light years from the center of the galaxy. Um, huge distances involved in this great structure, and you know, perhaps over 200 billion stars in, uh, in our galaxy. So with that, I think I'm going to uh, try to exit this and cut off our video. Astronomical unit, distance of the uh, uh, sun to the Earth, and the light year, distance that light travels in a year.